Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor out in this beautiful 2750. Uh, center cab, ultra. Right here, 2750 ultra center cab, yes. There's your pump, uh, pump out for your waste tank right there. I went through that. These are all your shutoff valves. That's a shutoff valve for your wash down, shutoff valve for the do -do 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 -do, bait tank, and shutoff valve for the tuna tube. Sometimes you got to back up a little bit when you turn on the tuna tube just to force the water. Once it does that, you're going to have water coming out. Now, just so you know, if you have the tuna tubes running, they're going to come down through this hole. The water is. It's going to come, and you know, not a lot, but through time, you'll have a little water. And you, where does that water come from? That's where it's coming from. Okay, and I put a little latch, like I said, on here. I turn this switch on here. Don't turn it on the yellow, of course, unless you need it. If your battery's going, on, on, on. that's your shut off valve right there for your tuna tubes. And then you got a valve up on there too. Uh, boat runs out really good. One motor almost 40 miles an hour, about 40, almost 50 miles an hour with two. Uh, there's the right pitch to just hit the rev limiter. There's your battery charger right there. You got the good, uh, oh God, what do they call these? Burns, Burns winds or something like that. These are good, really heavy duty. Quick release, pop, bang, get your pole. Good VHF antenna, yeah, that calibrated your 24 antenna. Uh, these doors, you have to, when you shut them, you have to lock them like this to lock it. You got your flip up seats. Again, I told you about those. The heater, it works. All you have to do is hit this button and then hit it again. And it says starting. So that's going to start up. Toilet is here. That works. You do it the other way. You hit this switch and it pumps her out. Your window washers are under here. These cushions go over the top. Like that. Then the other one. And these here, you just push and they pull down. Uh, that light works. That's for your front sp spreader light. You can see it up there. Turn your radio on. And that's hooked up to this unit. Now what you can do is just turn the key on. You've got to make sure they're in neutral. You can either wait for that gauge to start coming on up there. Or you can just hit the key here. Radio is working now. I already showed, showed you the lights. Uh, I'll just show you the running of the boat now. Nav lights I can shoot, and I'm anchored out right now, as you can see, because I was going to show you a lot of this stuff. 600, 600 neutral, neutral. I also hooked up here's your fuel flow. And then if you want to go to like bright light right here, you can go over here. Bring that color back. Now you want auto trim. That go with trim assist. You turn that on, it automatically trims your motors for you. If you don't want it, take it off. And I set that up. Okay, then what you do is you hit this button here, turn that on, turn your radio on. There you go. And then hit clear and it'll bring you up there. Set that up for you. Then come back here, this is loading. So while it's doing that, what we'll do is bring the anchor up and I'll hit agree right here. And I normally leave it where my props ain't running. This should just turn you around, which is doing. You don't want to be moving when you're raising your um, raising your uh, anchor. Transducers coming on, chains coming up. Then I let it simmer down a little bit, and bring it up some more. There you go. Drop it. Let's see how it See, you got to do that just right or that thing will spin on you. So then you go up here. 
and I gave it some slack so I could do that. See, I got it stuck. There you go. Just like that. Then you come back here. And while I'm here, I'm going to drop the antenna because I'm going to head back. And then you just hit up, see how it goes there. So sometimes you just want to bring her on up or let it settle down a little bit. So now we're ready to go. Now I set your tape, I put your, for your audio right here. If I'm gonna, or I can go like that, it brings this up, changes channels, do the volume, go back, that puts you back into that screen, clear view. That works really good. I got it set on 260, side view, split screen, heater starting up, I can hear it. AIS alarm, okay. Go to charts, nav charts, that's that right there. If you hit that, it's gonna say AIS vessel, it tells you all about it. You can call with radio, back, stop panning. Okay, then you can go also fishing charts right there. Radar overlay, you hit this button right here, it starts it up. There's your radar overlay. Then you go up here, you can go to vessels. That's your active captain, you can set that up, that's really easy, do it to your cell phone, iPad. Uh, vessels, gives you your coordinates right there. Media, right there. Uh, I can do charts, I can do like a highway map, I can do fishing chart. Radar overlay, I can go to radar, radar overlay, I can have dual radar, one, a quarter mile out, a quarter mile out, I can change this. I can go to eighth mile, three quarters of a mile, half mile, and this is still at a quarter mile. That's was, like that boat, if quarter mile I wouldn't see him, but if I had it set for a uh, half mile, three quarter mile, I would see him coming. Here's the AIS also, that brings you back. If you're off, you hit a waypoint, you hit that and brings you back center. And we'll see if we can't see that boat. This is land right here. And there he is right here. Coming at us. There he is. I can see him on there. I'm pointed towards that. So you want a single lever, you just hit this. And he's right on top of us almost. There he is. There he is right there. Okay, so that works. Go back into single range, dual range radar like this. Boom, there he is there, purple. Got that at three quarter, that at a quarter. That's how come I can see him. That one I can't because he's too close. And SOS, toolbars, like a, that's what gives you this and this. And then you can go into home again. You can go to sonars. I already showed you that. Combos, I set up some combos for you. So I got everything I need right there. So now we're on single lever. So what I can do is just bump this in gear right here. This one right here. If I hit it, it's going to beep. Now if, every time I push that, it's going to raise it up 50. This is a really cool boat actually. And then like if I wanted my media bar up here, I could go to tools. I could go to media. Uh, let's go put it to the top. There's my media bar. So and I can go like that. Anytime I want a bigger screen, I can hit it, and then hit this, and it brings it to the, oh, see, there's fish in here. So they're there. And then you just go back, and it puts you into that screen again. Yeah, there's stuff down there. Okay, so now I can bring it up some more. Now to shut that heater off. I can see there's a boat coming behind me right here, so I'm gonna turn the other way. And then you just hit this, hit it, hit it again, hit it again. And it says shutting down. We're good to go. I'm gonna scan, I'm gonna scan all. Weather, you just push in on that. You clear it, push in. Take it out, scan, scan. There you go. Okay, so now, if I wanna, we're doing 6.75 miles an hour. 
Now I'm going to bring that down on this switch right here. I'm going to go to about 600 and see, see what happens. 650. And that's where these stabies come in handy. They got that arrow designed to keep it tracking at low speeds. So now see I'm doing 4.86. I'm still going too fast, right? Now I'll go down and it's going to say like 80%. What that does is if you look at your gears up here, it says forward, it's going to kick that off. See how it said neutral, kicked them back in. I'm going to drop it down maybe to 50% to get that speed down. We're at 412, 3.9, 3.8. We're in forward and it's going to kick into neutral, 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 3.87. We can even kick her down more. We'll go down to 20%. That means it's going to keep those things out of gear for a longer period of time. We're down to 342, 33, 325, 313, 305. I'm going to cut it down to 10%. 291, 289, 25. If I get down to 25, that'd be a good trolling speed. And this is going with the current. 25, there you go, with the big motors. Now, if I shut one of those motors off, I'm surely I can get it down slower. Now, see what I'll do is just kick off. Kick that here, kick that off. Just run one, one motor. Oh, you have to have them both on though, huh? Let me shut one off and just see. Yeah, see, you got to have that one off. Yeah, so you got to have that. Both motors running to do that. Or you could just run it off of this one here. Put it in gear. Yeah, see. So you gotta sync them, you gotta have them both on. So that worked pretty good. And as soon as you give it some gas, you hear beep beep, that means it's kicked it out. Okay, so now, whoa, this got some power. Now this here, I got it off of auto trim. I'm just gonna use a trim here. I got it on single lever right here. Whoa, hang on. Man, that thing gets it. Now I'm gonna start trimming. That's going with the current. Then what I'm going to do is hit this back here. Now I'm going to kill a motor. I'm going to kill that one over there. Notice it's off. I'm going to hit the trim button right here. I'm going to trim it up until it flashes. There. I look back. I can trim it a little bit more. There you go. Now this is one motor, trim tabs up. Okay, other motor down, and I'm gonna trim it by this switch right here. So now one motor, look at that. Not even three seconds to plane it. Now I'm gonna trim it with this, up there. back down again, trim that one down.
And then I'm watching this gauge right here. Now that's trimmed down, zero, that means I can start it. You can look back at it and see. Now you notice if you don't have no power like this, that means you're only running on one lever. Now see if I go like this, bring it back single lever, this is gonna come up here with one lever working. Same thing with this auto trim. Right here, uh, as far as your control speed, it's gonna throw a, like a speed gauge up there to let you know you're in that VTS mode. Hit it, it kicks it off. So I use this to get where I'm going and then I use the other ones to spin me. So then here's another nice thing with an arrow design. I get away from these boats. Way up here and I'll show you. Oh, then we kick back down again. Like this. Then we go over to here, go over to here, and go to trim assist, and I turn it on. Now if I go back over here, one lever, one lever. Now when I hit this, you'll see those right about now starting to move. Trim tabs work, there you go. See how they move by themselves? Faster I go, wow, this thing's got some power. Watch those things drop. That's called auto trim. Then I go over here and I go to trim assist off. And that turns it off. Then you can manually trim it. Okay. And then that AIS target, okay. Get out of that. Now go single lever. Now again, here's where these stabies come in. This has got electric steer, so it's really easy to turn. I can steer this in neutral. See that? Unbelievable. There are not many boats that can do that. So now I'm going to turn it over. I'm just going to put this one in gear. Now watch this. Trim tabs all the way up. I'm going to trim tab that up a little bit so it doesn't lean. Look how fast this sucker turns without blowing out of the water. It'll tear you, it'll throw you right out of that seat. So in reverse, I'll bring that tab up. Same thing. Then I'll bring this back. Put it in reverse. This is even in my wakes. And I got that door open back there. So I'm going to spin it the other way. Look how fast this thing spins. So that's the advantage of a Stabie craft. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut this thing off, but what I wanna do is go into my web, whip, go back into here, clear this, go into home. I'm gonna go probably into radar, do a radar. I'm gonna shut this off. And then what you can also do is shut your uh, sonars off. Go like this, go like this, disable all sonars. Boom. Then what I do is I hit the power button. And then of course this is gonna everything I did here I set back here. So I touch the screen, see 